What's up guys, Game Fiend, Fiend of All Games here, and I'm back to give you another Drama Script to Saturday. And on this Drama Script to Saturday, well, let's just talk about the Roman Empire that was five minutes long, as Roman Reigns went on to defeat Dean Ambrose in the finals of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship title match, only to get road kicked off of it five minutes afterwards which starts a feud with him and Sheamus and come to think of it this Roman Reigns has been cashed on two times in one year so at least we do not have to worry about another money in the bank cash in that is the only good out of this uh, Cesaro's hurt with a shoulder so he's going to be gone I think it's a partial tear in his rotator cuff so he's gonna be gone for at least I think two months I'm not sure I forgot how where I read I think it's two months two 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 months uh Sami Zayn is back in NXT there's some good in that Sami Zayn is back but he's in NXT so he's back, which is good, but he's in NXT, which is bad, but that's also good because the way things are in the main roster, yeah. So let's just say he's going to be in NXT probably longer than expected. But at least he's, he's back in the ring. Raw was bad. Moving on to Raw. Nothing. Raw was bad. I it, it was all all I know is the Sheamus and Roman Reigns the rematch is at TLC in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. But all other than that, Raw was Raw was pretty bad. Uh nothing good came out of Raw. Not one one thing. And I'm really starting to give up on Bray Wyatt. Even though his promos are good, his mic work is good, his in ring performance is good. It's just every major match they have him in, he loses. So how am I supposed to fear this man if he just keeps losing? I think I've said this one once before in the past. New Day sucked. Uh, looks like they're running out of material to work with. And it shows. And the tag team division is, is up in the air. So the, the Usos and Los Machadores, those are the only tag teams. Because the primetime players got pushed out of the tag title hunt, which I don't even think they got their rematch. I can't even remember. I don't even remember if they got their, their rematch for, for the, the tag team titles. Yeah, dude, I forgot who is the... Oh, yeah, Brota Del Rio. Oh, uh, I even forgot who's the U.S. champion. Yeah, Bro Brota Del Rio and Jack Swagger. They're, 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 it looks like they're putting them in a feud. And I don't think they're going to give Jack Swagger the U.S. title, but the perfect opportunity after... Jack Swagger fucked up that main event push was I would have just gave it to have him and Zepp Coulter and have Jack Swagger have the U.S. title and have them to be with him with the U.S. champion. But they took Zepp Coulter off of Jack Swagger to put him on Alberto De Rio, someone who does not need a manager. Like I said, I don't write. I, I'm just a fan. I just watch. But that's sorry for the the the, the lackluster drama script. That is just you know I could only go off what the company produces, and they really produce dog shit these past seven six days. So really, there's really nothing going on. I don't watch SmackDown. NXT is is still good, but. They giving Eve a title shot against Bailey, which Bailey's gonna carry three fourths of that match. So 
Yeah. Can't wait to see how Bailey carries Eva Marie through. I mean, Eva Eve throughout a whole match. Very looking forward to that. But uh, that's gonna wrap up this drama script of Saturday. Uh, remember, there's a drama script of Saturday every Saturday. And if you like what you've witnessed, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'm Game Fee if you don't want games, guys. Signing out. Later and peace.